value added today. We are going to work on our product page, but uh, I want to just talk a little bit about web design stuff first. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and add this. All right, so if you would go to your browser of choice, your search engine of choice, so this is the first question. What I'm going to ask you guys to do is do a little bit of web search. And then when you find out some information, everybody is going to include one piece of information. All right? So how do you monetize your WordPress? site. Okay. So you remember Google does natural language search. Does anybody know what monetize means? Make money. How do you make money with your WordPress site? All right. So here we go. When you find a piece of information, go ahead and add it up here may end up on a quiz. Why don't you use blue? That one's almost impossible to read there. Oh, Ted stole the blue. Is it? I've got another, oh, not another blue one. I got a black one. Okay. All right. Is that everybody? Sam, did you find one? Say again.
Flipping. Oh, okay. All right. So, what do you mean by flipping websites? Do you do you know what that means? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you give us a lot of time to investigate. Uh, yeah, sure. That's a possibility. I, I hadn't considered that. But um, one thing is um, you, can, you can basically lease a domain. Like, let's say I, um, I leased, what was your product again? Mm. Perfume. Diane's Perfumes. I leased dianesperfumes.com. And I'm sitting on it, waiting for a woman named Diane who wants to sell perfumes to come along and pay me for my website. Right, just to park on that website, yeah. right? That has happened before, right? Where, where it might cost you, you know, I don't know, twenty bucks to lease that website, but or that domain, but you're gonna pay, you know, a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand bucks, because that's exactly the one that you want, right? So you could park on it. It's called parking on it, but. Thirsty affiliates. All right, t talk to us about thirsty affiliates. Uh, basically, you uh, advertise their site. Okay. And when anybody uh, makes the purchase or goes to from their your site, site yeah. from your site and yeah. buys something, then you get commission. Interesting. Okay. Thirsty affiliation. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so you could, you could do digital downloads. You could get paid that way. Uh, you can get sponsored by somebody. All right, so let's see here. Get paid to write reviews. You could, certainly. Uh, blogging, all right. Blogging doesn't necessarily make you any money, however. It depends on how famous you are, really. Yes, but, but you still have to monetize it, right? Yeah. So that's the thing is you're writing content, right? There's a couple people that I follow fantastic writing, really interesting kind of stuff, but they don't get paid to write. They get paid to draw readers, and then from there, they're going to monetize it some other way, right? So they might be, they might be um, your thirsty affiliates, right? You've got ads to other sites, okay? This one right here, AdSense. This one's a big, big one. All right, and we'll we'll just go ahead and uh, and go to the next one. From here is this is your next search. We might not have an entry per person. Is that per. A hand? Yes. Sorry, that's my ampersand. I tried it. I'll try again. Just for you, Crystal. Better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ted, our first volunteer. Kudos. Are these are these advertisements for Google? You've never seen an advertisement that says "Go to Google," right? right. You've never seen that. I've never seen that. 
So it's something different, different than that, right? Okay. So this is what happens. So it says basically Google gets a large cut and you get a small percentage. Yeah. But they're, they're probably getting paid to disperse that. Yes. That's, that's the service they're providing. What did you say, Leanne? Yes. So here's your website. It's like we like uh, subletting an apartment. It's exactly <laughs> it's exactly like that. So I've got here, I've got my website, la la la, I've got an aside, and I've got a spot for an ad there. Yeah. Now, businesses are all posting their ads to Google. All right, so Google is collecting these things, and they take information down so that they don't that they don't advertise on the wrong site, right? So that Google has a bunch of these, and you've got this blank on your site, and you say, um, "I want to make a buck for every click. That's my bid." Well. Let's say this person doesn't want to pay that much, and this person doesn't want to pay that much, uh, and then this person doesn't want to pay that much, but this person will. Then they, Google will connect those people who want to advertise on your site. You make a buck, and Google makes money. I don't know. It's, it's whatever that percentage is, whatever you're bidding, all right, to allow that... And um, it's not always per click. It could be cost per thousand, uh, thousand um, exposures or clicks. They've got different ways to work it. Okay, so that's how you can monetize your website. All right, and uh, when I looked it up just a few minutes ago, uh, if you're getting uh, 300,000 or more visitors, uh, to your site, then then Google will start considering you for AdSense. All right. Yeah. So. How much does it cost per thousand views? It says a website serving an average of three pages per visit, each with two ad units and an impression CPM. Uh, cost per million. Cost yeah. is it cost per million? Would get more yeah. Yeah. Yes. You do have to have a busy site, so you have to provide worthwhile content or stuff that people at least want to read, right? Exactly. All right. Say it again. That's how when you start blogging, you get people to your page. Oh yeah, you gotta talk about something cool. You gotta talk. Yeah, I gotta talk about something interesting. You know, it doesn't have to be valuable content. I, I. Uh, I'll visit a, a blogger's page who just does humor. I mean, she talks about her life, and she's totally, literally, she probably collects mental health problems like, you know, like people collect stamps. She's just, she's just wacky and out there on a limb, and the stuff that she talks about is hilarious, right? She's, she's not providing valuable content. She's just providing stuff people want to read, you know? So uh, valuable content, I think, is probably better for driving, for driving traffic, but if you've got something fun to say that people will read, and get people to 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 uh, log into your website, um, you could certainly start um, charging for it. Be a nice way to make money. Yes. We can do it for free from the site. You could. Yeah. So I am providing you a possible business opportunity. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so this one is going to... Do I have to do it on WordPress? No. <laughs> it sounds like Wix might be your better option. No, I'm and I'm going to try that next time. Oh, no, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> Wix is way funner. Like, I really yeah. was able... Like, I can move it around, yeah. and I can make the back, each background different. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. That one you can't. You pick a theme and you're done. And you're done. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And if you pick blank, then there's nothing behind it. Yeah. Yeah. W I X. Actually, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of services out there for designing free websites, but Wix is uh, certainly one of the most popular. I heard Jerry talk about Wix a lot. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give it a try also. Okay, so not Ted, because he already did his. What is SEO and how does it work? Okay, this is your next, oops, not word, work. This is your next search. Not Ted. Ted did his due diligence. It's got to be somebody else. Yeah. If you want to take part of it, you can. You could do SEO, and then somebody else can answer. How does it work? Close. It's close. It's close. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fix just the end. Or. Optimization. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Search engine optimization. How does it work? It boosts your traffic. Come and write it up here. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Leanne, you just can't shout it out. <laughs> You play the game according to your own rules, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little off. Don't let me. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were just he was ready. Was it unpaid ads? No. Unpaid. Optimize. Uh, unpaid. I'm not sure where you're going with it. Me too. It's getting worse and worse. Thank God. I used to be a great speller, and now the older I get, the worse it gets. I used to be really bad. It seems like I can spell this. You want to go look again? <laughs> Expose you to your business. Yes. Yes, there you go. There's the key piece right there. Damn. <laughs> Heels on it too. Nice. All right. So I think we could probably go with this. All right, so let's let's search. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a search up here. Give me give me a, a product, a topic that we nobody's doing in this room. Anybody think of a topic that I might search shoes. for? Shoes. What kind of shoes? Running shoes. Running shoes. Okay, that is great. Perfect. Running shoes. Yeah. How how does that search work? How does it find running shoes? Anybody have any idea? Keywords. Yeah, keywords. Tags, right? Okay, so if I hit running shoes, bam, okay. So, these are all paid advertisements, okay? So these companies paid Google 
to let you see things up front. Then we go down further. Then we've got, we got more paid advertising. So these searches are going to come up front. Now, the next one down, this is a natural, this is a natural find. Okay? Men's running shoes. Huh? What about the ones above it, right there? These are, um, ha, are dang. Like <laughs> yes. And we're, we're about to address that very thing. So, yeah, so don't steal my thunder yet, okay? Because that's going to be my next question. So are you all numb? Can I ask you a lot of questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that cruel. <laughs> oh, my... I tease my, my uh, the, dental, the dental hygienist, you know, that was got perfect timing, you know. Just before she goes for a dive with a tool, she's like, you know, do any fishing lately? You're just like, oh, I can't answer. You mentioned, though, apparently this one's still not working. Okay, so that's 2114? Yeah. Okay. They told me it was, those dogs. All right. So, you, you, yeah, you, you, you got us onto the next topic, but we're going to wait just a second. Woo. Uh, all right, so... So this right here, I do want you to note this just for a moment. Okay, this first entry is the first actual search item, okay? So if I click on that, Foot Locker, all right, what Google has done, not only has it searched the page content, but it searched the keywords. Exactly, well, what on earth are the keywords? What are you talking about? How do you get to the keywords? Well, when they built the page, in the invisible section of the code, there's a visible section and an invisible section. There's a piece called meta keywords. And that's where you put in searchable items, okay? Like running shoes. All right, so this is how you find out what was there. If you find some blank spot on the page and right click it, you can go to view page source and ah oh, this right here is what was actually written in code for you to see that this is the behind the behind the stage this is behind the scenes this is what everything that went into oh my gosh look at all that stuff holy cow that's the stuff you never want to have to do, exactly. Well, I can tell you, this was automatically compiled, okay? So they've got databases, and all they do is call content, call, 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 call. Then they feed it, feed it in here. However, some of it was a shoe, but if you look, okay, where are you looking at? I see here, meta description, there we go. Yeah, so it found it according to the title. Exactly. I'm looking for where are you? Looking for meta. Where are you, meta keywords? Did you hide it? Name description? Nope. No. I'm looking for keywords. Let's see if I can locate it. Uh, right there. Oh wow, they did yeah, they did something pretty funky. Keyword redirect. They're doing, okay, so they're doing something programmatically that's able to find it. Typically, what you're going to find on your average web page is up here where we've got all this stuff here at the top, and you can see it says meta, all right, meta, and then it'll say keywords, meta, keywords, uh, and then it'll have a whole bunch of keywords in a sentence like this. And that's how it's actually finding that. Google is finding it that way, typically. All right. So this is not going to be on a quiz. I just want you guys to know how this kind of works. Because <laughs> it's a value added day. All right. So if we go back right here. If we go back, when I did my search on running shoes, 
These are paid advertisements. These are paid advertisements. Now, this section right here that's got a map, and then it's got three businesses listed. That was a perfect segue into my last question. Uh, I was going to have you look up a thing called Google My Business. But since I want to make sure you guys have time to finish up your assignment for today, Google My Business. If you have a business that has a per particular location, all right? Let's say you're let's say you're walking downtown Portland. You're like Siri, I'm hungry. Show me a restaurant. What it does is it says, "Okay, Google, find the 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 items in my business that are within walking distance." And those entries where people have entered into Google My Business, they'll give the information right here. It's free. Google does it for free because it's like a service for our users, okay? So when you, when you open up your own business, first thing you wanna do, especially if your location is important, is go to Google My Business and enter your data in there. Yes? Yelp. It's different. Yelp is an advertisement service, basically. So you want to, you want, you definitely wanna be in Yelp if you're a business, but you're gonna pay for it. Yeah. Google My Business, free, yep. Yes. So. Well, and also when someone with their location on, if you get a lot of traffic and yeah. if you leave reviews. Yes. Then the. It'll push it to the top. Yeah. We'll ah. Push it, to the top. it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. I wasn't so aware like, of that. This one gets the best ratings. You know. Yeah. Here. It makes versus. sense. And those who don't get good ratings, boy, it's hard to catch up. I'll bet. Yeah. And so you don't really find you when you search for somewhere to go to eat. Yeah. Yes, right. Uh, and if you're hungry, you don't want to scroll forever. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you're going to take one of the first five, maybe, yeah. you know. Uh, With some pictures. Yeah, pictures yeah, are even better. I bet you anything, the, that picture right there came from somebody that went there. You think because, so? Yeah, you earn mm -hmm. points when you do that okay. on Google. Gotcha. Because if I take a picture of my food and I review it, yeah. like, I stack up points. Uh, I don't know what you use. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I've been doing it. Well, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're for, but I'm going to use them. Okay, all right. I, I'm interested to hear how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I go, like, uh -huh. because my location's just on. Yes. So, like, I drive by something, and okay. I'm like, hey, how was this? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Google My Business. If you're in business, that is one of the first things you got to do for advertising because it's free. You're going to pick the low-hanging fruit first, right? Take the free stuff, and it's effective too. Um, they have a thing, uh, a uh, a product uh, now called geofencing. Anybody heard of geofencing? Okay, so they're they're working on a project now um, where you can walk downtown. Basically, when, when you get within a certain distance of something that you're looking for, it'll start showing you information about it. So, you know, another 100 feet, you get to go, you know, try out your favorite wine or whatever that is. Um, different, kind of, sort of. It is about location, though. It's definitely about location. So it's it's you know if your if your phone tracking is on and you have the geofencing um, going on, and you have to it's you have to turn it on though because if you're walking down like New York, uh, you know some some place in downtown New York, and they were and every business that's around you would be able to push notifications onto your phone, it wouldn't stop ringing, right? So you have to it's 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 a service based sort of thing where you get an app. Okay, so that was value added for websites today. All right, for those of you who have questions about what we're doing today, today, you guys are working so fast, that's why I wasn't too worried about filling up a little bit of time on uh, some web-based stuff. Products page, all right? Those of you who are a little confused about what a products page is, if we go to Amazon.com and I type in... Uh, let's see. What should I type in here? 
How about computer camera? All right, so this would be a products page, right? Yeah. I got a handful of products. I've got descriptions. I've got prices. I've got deal of the day. I've got these, what are they called? They're deals. Prime is a deal, all right, to save you money or fill Amazon's pockets with gold. That's really what that's about. So a product page is, is nothing more than uh, you're going to have an image, you're going to have description, you're going to have text. You want to convince people to buy. Buy today. Sign up now. Whatever. Whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do. Okay? So that's what product page is for. All right. Try and get five, if you can. Five products? Five products. All right. Try for five. Okay. All right. Um, see, any questions about that? Okay, a couple of other real quick notes. Do, 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 do. Um, make sure that you can get to the products page from your home page and back. Okay, so you've got to have a link on your home page that goes to the product page. You've got to have a link from the product page that can get back to the home page. WordPress may do it automatically for you. Not sure. Just make so, sure that that happens. You mean like up at the top? In your navigation. Yeah, so the navigation up at the top? If you have navigation at the top, then that's where it's going to be. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, there are a couple of pages, a couple of links that were sent to me that were uploaded into Canvas that appear not to have been published. So when I go to it, what happens is it takes me to my blog page. Okay? So what I'd like you to do before you leave today, when you publish your page, and I want you to send me the link so that I can have a look at it, make sure that it works. Because if you don't publish your page and it doesn't work, you don't get the credit. Okay? It's critical that you actually publish the page and send me the link. Okay, so uh, Olivia and Jeffrey, your pages didn't work for me. Okay, so please double check and make sure that you publish them, and I'd be happy to look at them again. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe so. And I can still continue working on it, making the changes to it. Absolutely. Actually, you shouldn't have to, right? If you keep working on it and upload it, it's the same URL. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. In fact, what you could do, you could, you could open up a new page, call it your products page, publish it, and then start working on it. That way you know it's actually published, and then you just have to update it as you go. Does that make sense? Just get that publish piece out of the way. Did you fall? Okay. And it's published. It okay. says it's published. Yeah. Contact is now live. Great. Okay. And can you get to it from your home page? I got to copy the link and then the page. Okay. Yes, sir. That's still the publishing of the page. Yeah. It says it, it's public. Okay, then do this. Do, 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 uh, click on permalink. Um, copy that, copy that. Copy a link address. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and email that to me. Okay. And then, then we can double check it. I just need to be able to see it better. Okay, so go to go to my my site. Click on site. Click on pages. Okay, go ahead and click on home. All right, now we should. 
should get an option right. Yeah, where it says permalink. And then um, right click it, copy it. Uh, not link location. You want to actually copy the link. I've never seen that before. You just hit that. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, it says you published it. So why can't you do what we just did? Can I poke at it for one second? Okay. Copy link location. I'm gonna just see what that does. Okay, that seems to have been the same thing that I was expecting. Um, so go ahead and copy that and then email it to me. Okay, okay? and then I'll I'll check and make sure that it works before you go. Okay. If you want to do that immediately, I'll check it right now. Right. For those in Radioland, I'm going to sign off here. Make sure that you have your uh, products page done and that they link to your home page and back.